Hey, hi everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Wait Cases button, a button that's incredibly useful, but uh, you find that you might not see it in an introductory course in SPSS. To know why it's useful, let's present you with uh, two sets of data that represent the same thing. So, say I have um, some questionnaire and I've got two categorical variables here, gender, sex, gender, and choice, choice that um, for a particular kind of um, thing that I asked them. So for case one, the person who completed the questionnaire was male, chose choice one. Okay, second female uh, chose choice one as well. Notice that some of these things repeat themselves, so male choosing choice one appears more than once out of this list of seven people I had two guys that chose choice one. Look at this second representation of this data set. It's got the same columns except for it's got one additional columns and that one additional columns I'm calling it frequency just counts the number of times that these combinations happen. So male choosing one I said appeared twice out of seven so notice here male choosing choice one frequency twice. How about female choosing choice one? Um, well I'm claiming it's three so is it female choosing choice one? That's one, that's two, that's three. So it comes three. So this is like the um, where each row lists the uh, list the individuals whereas this one here groups the results so we've got an additional column here and you can see that if you had many 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 uh, the sample size was large so you said many 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 complete this survey then you know your hands would be kind of falling off typing all this stuff in whereas this one is much shorter you, you look at the combinations and you just count them and put them into a separate uh, column uh, this one we can call this aggregated data you know I mean aggregation meaning summing kind of and um, or you could call it group data and then so this aggregation is you'll see it when you deal with categorical variables if there's continuous variables in here uh, like age it's less likely you're going to get exactly the same combination uh, that appears more than once um, depending on what your continuous variable is. So that you're more likely to see this when your variables are all categorical. So I've pointed out the difference between these two. So what? Um, well, this one, the group data, aggregated data, is easier, much faster to type in. And so, you know, if I had a choice between the two, you might prefer to use Bayesian analysis on this one. Uh, of course, irrespective of which table you use, which form you use, you should get the same results. It shouldn't affect the analysis obviously, it's just that this one is easier to type in. Uh, if we see it at another angle it might be that you're just given a data set that's aggregated and that's so you'd have to work with it um, and you have no choice on the matter. So how do we do that? Well, let's take the unaggregated data first. Say I want to do some categorical analysis based on these two say um, cross tabs. So what you do is go analyze descriptive stats, cross tabs. Let's just look at the counts here. I'm not interested in actually doing the analysis. Uh, put one of them. Okay, let's look at the table here which simply just tells us the number of individuals falling to each of these categories. So here you got go male choice one, two of them. Female choice one, three of them. Okay, that's the table. Now let's replicate the same thing using the aggregated, the where is it? The aggregated data. Here you go. How do I do it? Well, what not to do is we do not go to we do not run the analysis. We don't go analyze analyze um, cross tabs and do this. But let me just do it. So you don't do what I'm just about to show you, I'm showing you here. 
that reason for that is because it doesn't take account of the number of times each combination occurs so if you only do male uh, gender versus the choice can you see it's just these numbers are completely different it's not taking account of the number of times that combination is repeated so here we've got male choice one is one uh, female choice one is one well that's not the case what we have to do when we're using aggregated data is to use the weights command that's what this whole video is about to get there we'll go to data weight cases by default we do it's not doesn't weight cases we want to weight cases by frequency I, what I've called frequency which simply tells it the number of times that combination appears the row combination then I go OK and now it's switched on and now for any analysis I do whatever I do is based on the weighted cases so let's now do it analyze descriptive stats cross tabs and just run it again now lo and behold we can see that the numbers now make sense so male twice female three times and that's it um, so we don't for any other choice of thing that I'm, I do uh, if I go on to fit anything up anything else or compute anything else I don't have to keep going to date weight cases it'll just remember that uh, all you have to remember is that if there's any time that you want to switch the thing off for some reason just make sure you undo it so go to data weight cases and then do not weight cases that'll take you back to the original uh, unweighted cases case okay so that's it weight cases